That's my favorite caliber right now, Tommy. What caliber is that again? 22 Creedmoor. 22 Creedmoor. It's a little. I un- can't keep up with all these. Oh, man, it's, they're coming out with the 22 Arc just landed. See, what's a 22 Arc? It's a 6.5 Grendel neck down to 22. Yep. I'm fixing, I'm fixing to do a whole thing with my AR. I yeah. stick to that the, five, five, six is fixing to come off. That 22 arc is going to yeah, go on top. Yeah, make of sure it. and do a seven twist. Yep. I and stick then, to the basics, bro. 223, 243. Kills them dead, though, right? That's yep. all I need. I yep. don't need none of that. <laughs> yep, yep. It, but, I mean, every, I mean, I've had people ask me, are you going to do a 22 arc? I'm like, no, I got, I got, I got, I got what I like. Yeah, that creed more do it. <laughs> you know, I mean, I. If I didn't have anything, I'd be like, yeah, this, yeah. I'd be all, I'd be all about it. Mm-hmm. But I mean, now I've got that twenty-two Creedmoor, fixing to build a second twenty-two Creedmoor. Got the Arc, and then, but I'm going to be shooting it in some competitions over there in Valero, oh. you know. But I'll also be able to drag it around and hunt with it, yeah, you know. So, but anyhow, yeah, we're recording. All right, okay, you know. You know, so yeah, that second twenty-two Creedmoor, you know, it's going to look good in that Ram. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's going to look good in that back seat. Yep. <laughs> will that will that thing haul that much weight? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah. comment. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> so so who we have here today? We've got Ronald Rodriguez, mm-hmm. and then we have Eddie Rodriguez Jr. These are guys that I I used to hunt with their dad, and and I never did hunt with your grandpa. Yeah. But I understand he used to hunt a lot. Yep. yep. And so the the cool thing is, is it's the it's a family tradition. Mm-hmm. Your grandpa did it. Your parents did it. And then I hunted with your brother. Yep. And I hunted with your dad. Yep. And I hunted, also hunted with your dad a bunch. So it, he was a machine, man. He loved to go coon hunting with them damn dogs. Oh, he <laughs> would go nonstop. And it was like. Them things would be two or three miles away, and he'd be like, oh, I'll be back. I'm like, I'm going to stuck. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. I, I never completed past midnight. I was in a truck sleep. Yep. Well, I know me and Ronald, we were the ones got stuck going back and getting the truck yep. a lot of times. Yeah. Yep. In the middle three of or the, four miles in the middle of the night, yeah. just us two. With the, little them handheld, lights, them little handheld light. lights back then didn't get too much light. No, no, <laughs> no. I mean, and, you know, and and he did that, and, and it, it's, boy, I mean, he ate it up. He had all those dogs. and. Mm-hmm. And I, I got a, which hand, that scar right there was from one of his coon hounds. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah, we'd, uh, I'd shot a turkey, and that some of come up, and my hands was all bloody. And, <laughs> and I'd kind of stuck my hand over the fence, you know, and this one dog was licking my hand, and the other one came up. I think his name was Hondo. That's Hondo, right? yep, Hondo. Yep. He came up, one. I mean, he grabbed my hand, and that one canine <laughs> punctured my hand right there and ripped me wide open. <laughs> Stupid. I wasn't even drinking. <laughs> I mean, it's like the middle of the day, you know. And yeah, but anyway, yeah. yeah. But yeah. So for y'all, it's a family. It's a family tradition. Y'all, yeah, we've done all kinds of hunting. Yeah, Today, I mean, coon hunting. There's got greyhounds. Yep, running in the back of the truck, running yeah, on your yeah, feet, lights, lighting. everything. And that's this all y'all have ever done. Yeah. Yep. Some I'll people have home. drag raced. They hunt. They have a whole list of things. Yeah. But for y'all and y'all's family, it's hunting. Mm-hmm. Period. None. What? There's nothing else. And well, you then, do a little softball with the girls. Oh yeah, and, that occupies my time a lot these days. But back then, you could hunt anywhere, and it wasn't a problem. You know now. Yeah. It's, now everybody's trying to make money. Yeah. Yep. You yep. know, hey, can I go hunt? Well, what are you gonna pay me? Uh, yeah. yeah. Or no, I'm gonna try to kill your yeah. predators so <laughs> they don't kill your calves. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean. Yeah. You would think we would be a farmer's best friend well that was the benefit of our grandpa my grandpa worked for everybody out in the country back then yeah so we had he knew everybody my dad and my uncles all knew everybody so we had access to everything yeah you know so it was easy just to go get in the truck run the dogs anywhere yeah they would just say yeah go at it go at it have fun be careful that's all they would ever tell us yeah yeah you know you're talking about the greyhounds i mean we did that with them yeah I guess the maddest I ever seen your dog, your dad was over a greyhound. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and uh, I'm trying. If I remember this story correctly, when we loaded up to go, your dad told Scotty, <laughs> "If you're in a field with a damn telephone pole, Check you know what happened. Yep. If you're in a field with a telephone pole, turn the light off turn the and they'll slow on. down." Yep. He didn't turn the light <laughs> off. <laughs> dog went right <laughs> <in the laughs> pole. T-boned this damn telephone pole and killed it graveyard oh. dead right there. And I said, y'all take me to the house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going back. I'll, I'll, I'll come get my pickup tomorrow. I'm I not. 
I'm going to go back. I was on the end of a couple of those. My dad, when they'd run into a barbed wire fence or something, you know, you would you can't see it, but all, yeah. all of a sudden you see them dog poop. Yeah. Yep, there. Yeah. It's done. <laughs> but you know, they would fix them up. Yeah. They get their oh, they yeah. get their spray out. Yeah. So they all they get their shots and, out. Yep. Yeah. I mean, just fix them up. And yeah. Yep, no They'd let them rest a couple of days, but then it was right back at it. <laughs> yeah. And it was never it, like they made a lot of money at it. They did no, it, it because was, it was fun. Yes, that it was, was their hobby. hobby. That's what they did. And yeah. back then, around then, I think we were the only family doing that back then. I yeah. think my dad and my uncles were the only ones running mm-hmm. greyhounds around this yeah. area. Yeah. And hounds. My dad ran those yeah. hounds around here. He would go to Brownwood back east Texas, and they would do competitions mm-hmm. you know, with the hounds that way. But there was really nothing west of here yeah. yeah so ain't no trees big enough for a coon to yep. climb over yep. in west texas you know? <laughs> yep. you go out and then you tree them up a bush yeah yep. you know go there and kick the bush and some of it's come try them up try yeah. to climb up your leg and he would win those competitions and he would tell me around here the dogs have to run for miles to put a coon in a tree over there every other tree has a damn mm-hmm. coon in it well, you don't run them you don't run into the monster coons like you used to back in the yeah. day back in the day i seen some grizzly bear we lost a couple dogs like that. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't they them get them out in the water, right? Yeah, they get them in the tank, yep. and they drown. We lost some good dogs that way. They'd climb up on their head and drown yep. them. Yep. And I, and I tell you what, you know a love of a dog. I seen my dad and a couple of my uncles jump in the tank <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> to go yeah. get that coon on them dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I seen that a couple times. So yeah. <laughs> one, one evening, me and Eddie's dad, we were over here on the backside of this mountain, and we were running pigs at the time. And my dog and Eddie's dad dog had a big boar in the water. Well, I was trying to walk around the walk around it where Eddie's dad was trying to walk around this way and I hit him and I knocked him into the water that was the maddest I think I've ever seen his dad. and it was cold it was raining <laughs> you know Junior got me one day and he was like hey let's go pig hunting I'm like oh I'm all about going yeah. pig hunting we showed up and we're like you got the dogs yeah I don't, what about a gun? No, I always would need a knife. Nope, I'm you like, don't oh, carry a gun no yep. oh, we, I don't know about all this well us going through high school we had a lot of friends that would hear about us and you know, we tell them, oh, we're hunting. We stab them with a knife. You know, we don't carry guns. We don't like shooting around the dogs or anything. Yeah. They, I guess they didn't realize it until we finally took them a couple times. Yeah. And they're just like, y'all really just walk up on them? <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, walk up, yeah. grab them, one roll grab, them over. One knock them down, one put a knife in them, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they thought we were crazy. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, your your cousin, I guess, Anthony. Yeah. Is, yeah. That that part of the family, That's uh, <laughs> they didn't hunt, right? They, they just, didn't hunt they, much. Him and Pete, they just did they just dumb went. shit. <laughs> they did. Dumb. They just did dumb shit. Yeah, <laughs> but they're both still alive, so it wouldn't yeah. be dumb shit. <laughs> we had caught a pig in a trap, and I seen Anthony in town somewhere, and this pig was probably 75, 80 pounds. Mm. And I had it out there at the farm in that pen. Yeah. And I said, man, I don't know how we're gonna catch that damn thing. And he got all bowed up. He goes, shit, I'll go out there. <laughs> I said, all right, yeah, I come on it. out there, big man. <laughs> he come out there, and that somebody chased him around the pen and <laughs> cornered him and got him right. He run right up. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. I was like, what? Yeah. Go get him. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. No, no. He, he, we called his bluff on that deal. That was funny as hell. Well, we did some stuff our teenage years. I don't think we'd do it now because we, when we had, we had a litter of dogs that we brought up, half greyhound, half pit, and people were crazy about them type of dogs we had. And we remember we put them that we'd catch yep. a board, put them in the trailer. Yep. Man, we'd put them in one by one, throwing it one by one with that board in the trailer. Man, but I tell you what, them dogs. There ain't no quit in them. There ain't no, no quit in them. It no. toughened them up. You got the stamina <laughs> of the greyhound and toughness of the pit bull. <laughs> yeah. yep. Then when they run catch those pigs three, four hundred yards in that plowed oh, field, yeah. that's when the work was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, no yeah. man. I mean, I can shoot three or four hundred yards. <laughs> I don't have to go chase nothing that's going to chase me. No, well, we didn't start shooting pigs until what, about 2012, maybe 2013. Yeah. We would catch them with the well, dogs. Well, it just got to the point where you couldn't really run dogs anymore yeah. around here. You know, a lot of people just didn't want you doing it, you mm-hmm. know. Yep. So, I mean, it, you know, them dogs don't know a fence line. Yeah, they don't know when to stop. They, they, just, they just run through the fence. And, and there was a lot of guys that, you know, that you got your hunters that got good trained dogs that know better to mess with livestock. Then you got those ones that might ruin it for everybody because they mm-hmm. don't got their dogs yep. trained. And they'll go latch onto a, a horse or, or a cow, cow and... sheep, goat, whatever, and ruin yeah. it for everybody. So. I don't blame them ranchers the way they think. It's hard yeah. to trust anybody to go out yeah. there, you know? So You know, and that's what I hear a bunch is, well, I got my cows on that place. Mm-hmm. I'm like. I've never shot a cow in my life. I've never shot a cow in my life, man. No, I mean, if, you're, if you're dumb enough to shoot a cow or a horse, or, you shouldn't be out there. Yeah, be out there. Take your man card and your hunting <laughs> yeah. license. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I heard, I heard guys tell me before, well, we couldn't make out the eyes. We couldn't make out what it was. In the light. Don't shoot. Yeah. Dude, 
If he's that far apart, you should be able to yeah. tell. If, you, if you've been hunting before, you should know what a cow and a horse looks like in yeah. the light. Well, that's the first thing we do, honestly. And you've hunted with us before. We, yeah. we always eyeball. If we know there's cattle, if we know there's sheep, we always eyeball them first. Make sure where they're coming from, what they look like, how big the herd is, you know. And mm-hmm. we're pretty careful. So yeah, try to stay that way. We've got the respect of a lot of hunter, uh, farmers around here that they know we're careful. And, yeah. Well, I think I think sometimes these younger, these younger, newer hunters they ain't they haven't been exposed. Yeah, it's like a brand new deer hunter, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. You see that that twenty six pound fawn walk out, <laughs> and they're about to have a heart attack, and they shoot it. Yeah. And then they, they, you're talking about ground shrinkage mm-hmm. when they pick it up like a jackrabbit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. this is going to be a hard one to explain back yeah. at deer camp, you know? <laughs> so that's the same thing is that they, this yeah. coyote runs out, and boy, I mean, they're just freaking out and they're not paying attention yeah. to their surroundings. Yeah, exactly. They start popping off and popping off. You know, off. for y'all, it's just uh, it's another day. Yeah. Another day in the field, you know, he'll. There ain't no hurry, yeah. you know, I mean, unless he's running away. But if he's running away, well, we'll get well, him next like time. Calling, you know, when we first started calling, how old were we, like 20? When we started doing this kind of stuff, yeah, we were like We didn't even 25. have a rack. We did our first competition off the back of his red. He had a red Dodge. Yep. The Spitfire just, Fox Pro. Yeah, well, we hmm. hunted off the top of that truck. We didn't even have a rack. We just yeah. stood up with our lights. And we won some money a couple of times, yeah. like that. <laughs> we won the yeah. we won the big coyote a couple of times, yeah, big, big coon, coon a few yeah. times. We won a big jackrabbit in Trent one time. Killed a seventeen pound jackrabbit. <laughs> Dude, are you sure that was a jackrabbit? <laughs> seventeen pounds. We worked our way up, man. When we first started, we we, we showed up to these competition hunts. People with big old racks, and we didn't even have a rack, man. We're just like. We yeah. learned as yeah. we went though. Oh man. yeah, we got better at it. <laughs> what? So how much did big coyote pay? The one, the first one we won, we won a thousand. I can't remember. I think it was right at a thousand. The first yeah. one we won, and that was in twenty thirteen, if I remember correctly. I guess there's inflation because it's more than that now. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Well, back oh, more yeah. people are doing it. That big, that rough country hunt. When we first started doing it, it was just local hunt. It was just yeah. a small local hunt. Yeah. And then when Big Cat came along. Yeah, that brought everybody. That brought everybody closer to that yeah. one, and that's when it really just. Yeah, they first started with the point system for the yeah. rough country. You know, it was by points. Yeah. So yeah. me and Eddie weren't hunting by points because we knew we weren't going to go shoot 25, 30 foxes. Yeah. yeah. So we quality over quantity. Yeah, you know? we just tried yeah. to knock something big down. Yeah. So. You know, I mean, I see on Facebook all the time, people go out and they'll shoot 15, 20 coyotes. I'm like. <laughs> I so still like, don't. I, th- that's this not day, around here. No. Nope. To this day, I still, if anybody out there, I want to see how they go on one night and shoot about 80 gray foxes. Mm-hmm. I got to see that in yeah. person. Yeah. I got to see it. Yeah. I don't, I'm not doubting you. I believe you, but I'm, I got to see I that. I sure would like to partake gotta, in it. I got to see oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I sure want to partake oh, yeah, in it. I want to see I, how I that's done. I have to load some more ammo. But I don't yeah. think <laughs> I shoot 80 in a year, man. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> We're, we've been in some good fox country. Yeah, good fox. And, and, I mean, calling foxes, every time we press the call, if there's a fox. There's a fox. Mm-hmm. The most we've done, what, 14, 15 yeah, in a night? Right. And, and that's that, calling and every. That takes up time, yeah. you know? Yeah. So. I mean, the poor guy's got to go out and get them damn things. Right? I just got. I just got to see it one time. Somebody got to invite me along to see that one of yeah. these days. I got to see that. <laughs> they say fox country. You know, go out, yeah. go out west. Well, I'm just figuring country. by now it'd be kind of dead by now. Boy, you think so? Yep. You figure them virgin parts of land would be gone by now. But there's a guy that we shoot his match over in Robert Lee, mm-hmm. and there they, he tells me that oh man, the foxes are thick over here because they got everybody over there's got sheep. Well, we yeah. hunt a lot down that. Direction. And it's like, dude, I, you know. Can I get an invite? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, I mean, here we go. Here we go. Well, you know, the location we hunt out there, when we first started hunting there, it was, yep. I mean, we, you could turn on the call and them things were coming down the roads. Like, yeah, we were told, as soon as you press that call, have your light working. Now, at that time, we were, you know, we were getting started. So we'd press the call, leave the light off for a little while, then turn the light on yeah, and do we the scan. Were, you know, that was we yeah. starting. Yeah. They told us, as soon as you press that button, keep that light on. Yeah. Press the button, look up, and Fox standing on top of the call <laughs> looking right at you. Yeah. And I mean, I've seen that, I've seen that happen a couple times. Yeah. Normally, I mean, like instantaneous. Yeah. Get your light turned on, look around, and then all right, I'm ready. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, there he is. <laughs> you know, I mean, they were yeah. sitting there watching you, I guess, yeah. and you just didn't spot them yet or something. But well, it's crazy. Like talking about when we first started and all. It's crazy how far you come from. When you first start out, you start seeing how everybody does. You got to, I got to be quiet. Can't talk. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, don't. Take a piss by the truck, whatever it is. The more you hunt, the more you go, you realize those little things don't even matter anymore. Yeah. Because we 
we do better just doing our own thing that way. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like I told you, them guys are hunted with Saturday night. I mean, quiet is the last yeah, it, thing it, on the it, menu. As long as you're quiet while the call's going, I think you're good, you know? Yeah. yeah. So what what is your go-to caliber? Right now. That's a big question. I'm in love with a 223 or 243. Those are my two rifles I yeah. hunt with most of the time. That's what I hunt with. Yep. He's a little more fancier. I, <laughs> I, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell anybody, anybody comes and asks me, what's, what, what caliber do I need to buy? I'll tell everybody, 223. 223 is That's, the do it all caliber for me. I kill yeah. everything with a 223. But, you know, I, I, I do the 250. I got the 6.5 Grindle now that I'm working on, but that 2250 has been doing great for us. So. Yeah. But I tell everybody, 223, you find it on the shelves. You know, look, people can't reload for a lot of stuff. And that's you can find my deal. Ups yeah. and downs, whatever whatever grain you want to shoot. I can find 223, 243 anywhere. I, I got tired. I had a 2250. I got tired of looking for ammunition. Yeah, that's I tough, that's that tough thing, to get. I got rid of it. It's I, tough to get. Yeah. 22250. Yeah. If you see it, you better grab it. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you come back, oh, I'll come back tomorrow or get paid Friday or something yeah. and come I back. I hate it's having gone. to race to find bullets and run here and run there. I, I hate that more than anything. Yeah. <laughs> so when I see it on the shelf, I'm like, oh, I got to buy some. My wife would be like, didn't you and your brother just reload a whole bunch of those? Yeah, but it's on the shelf. I can yeah, buy it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I need the brass. Yeah. yeah. I need the brass. Yeah. You know, we're going to reload for it. And mm-hmm. A 243, you don't hear of a whole lot, but I mean, that's. Yeah, shoot so that. 85 grain bullet yeah yep. I, well i'm shooting 100 Fast. grain out of mine 100 grain yeah. i just bought a 243 not too long ago and i'm going to reload 58 grain v max yeah. out of it that's what i'm going to start loading on it i mean i use that one more for pig hunting but i will take it varmint hunting it just depends on where we're hunting yeah. i've shot everything with that one too so yeah i mean uh, there's good, you know but... and like we said on this other podcast with when i deal with tyler there there's no wrong caliber oh no, no. there really oh, is and no. it just wears me out when people go on facebook and say what is the best caliber for coyotes as long as you can shoot as long as you, can, <laughs> you like it shoot it i mean i might say something like well i'll tell you which ones you don't want to use <laughs> don't come out of here with a no. 300 prc yep. i mean <laughs> trying to shoot that 10 pound raccoon yeah i mean no i mean it, there's and even then it'll still kill it it's yeah. just overkill and mm-hmm. Recoil mm-hmm. management is is not there. I mean, but now, if you're doing competitions, you have to know what yeah. you, what what caliber, what bullet you're shooting. Yeah. But if and you're not doing competitions, it's whatever, bro. Yeah, yeah. Just I don't mean, hand me a shotgun. I, I can't shoot a shotgun. <laughs> my life depending on it. I'd rather shoot a rifle up close range and hit something than shoot yeah. a freaking shotgun. Mm-hmm. I love that shotgun. I love seeing the fur just go. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking well, of that one, well, that one bobcat we won. Remember, you chased that one like a crazy yeah. person. I tell you what, we were out. Where was that at? In the lawn over here. Lawn over here by the mountain over there, right? We were still hunting out of the back of the truck on yeah. that one, right? Yeah, well, that was during the day. We shot that, was that 28 one. 28-pound cat, wasn't it? Yeah. 28 pounds. That was before that, Brick Cat was even going yet. The day we won the big coyote, the first time we won the big coyote, we shot that cat. We shot both of them the same day. Yeah. That freaking cat, we were in weigh-ins. 28 pounds we were like if we had done the big bobcat at that time the, i think we would have taken second it would have been like bobcat happening then by yeah was it because it would have been remember. like ten thousand dollars that, that would have been it for second place but we were winning both the cat and the coyote because we pulled those out of the truck all those dudes were like oh man we're not even gonna pull ours out <laughs> one minute left before one waiting. minute left i remember the guy and his kid comes up kid the comes kid, up dragging his big old cat 33 pound cat <laughs> oh man <laughs> Took thousand dollars. We were sitting up. Yeah. We were sitting up. I thought it was a coyote. It was brushy. I mean, you couldn't see through that thing. You couldn't see through the trees or anything. I'm sitting at one angle down one lane. He's sitting down there where we could see each other. And that thing comes around the corner. And I thought it was a coyote. I can't. I think it was cottontail. Mm-hmm. It was cotton that little tail. spitfire call, man. Mm-hmm. That's all it was. I thought it was a coyote. And I'm trying to wave at him. And he wasn't looking. And I guess he finally got in here because I never got a hold of him. And he saw it. And I seen him shoot. <laughs> He had the shotgun and the rifle. When he shot that thing, he ran. How far did you run? Like almost pretty 200 far. yards yeah, chasing that far. thing. <laughs> I think he shot 10 times with that dang shotgun, and that cat kept going. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was 28 pounds. <laughs> yeah. It was full of All lead. That lead you know? <laughs> well, I hit him in the back leg with that AR. I hit him in the back leg, and he flipped over, and he took off running down that creek. And I was like, oh, he's not getting That's away from me. That's just one of those funny ones I'll never forget. Because <laughs> yeah. just watching him run after that cat with that shotgun, that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> and my, I probably could have shot him a second time with that AR. When I hit him, he flipped over, and he stood there and looked at me. And I just dropped the AR, grabbed the shotgun, and I took off running. Yeah. Well, you know, when you talk about you were hunting away from each other, mm-hmm. that's tough. It is. Yeah. It's, you can't communicate. No. I mean, we've tried it, me and Tyler and Steven. Yeah. And to where all oh, you'll hunt around here, or around the corner, and like, yep. you know, we try to get in visual, and but sometimes yeah. you know you start going, you, you get in la la land a little bit, so you kind of forget to 
Me, I remember more. He'll forget. He'll just keep looking around. I'm zoned in, baby. I'm zoned in. I don't know how many times I try to wave at this guy, and he just (laughs) he just zoned in somewhere else. So, but you know that that cat you shot over here on the other side of Winters. Yeah, I was looking directly like this. I finally had the cat was probably twelve yards away from me. The cat came this way. He came right in front of me, but I had a tree in front of me, so I thought he had the better shot because the cat was coming down. Well, the cat finally got past me, and I could see the cat. But my angle, I had to get up because the tree was in front of me. I, I couldn't get a good shot. If he would have just looked, he could have dropped him. But I'm like this. And like, and the cat finally stopped looking over there. Finally, I just had to stand up. Stand up. Right on. Free shoot that thing without a stick <laughs> or anything. And I, got, I dropped him. But I was like, man, you're not seeing me over here waving at you. He, well, shoots, he shoots. And I turned and looked at him. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the beauty of a light gun. Yeah, exactly. That's but you can stand up and hold two, it. Right? Yeah, that was the over here, you can't. <laughs> And that's the thing. I love my 223 because I, if I got to get up and shoot without something, yeah. I can do it. <laughs> yeah, my old old ass shoulders ain't going to hold up no damn, not even a light one. Yeah. If I don't have the gun set up and my elbow on something. Yeah. That's that's the reason I built that. My yeah. friend built that thing for me. I wanted to put my gun down so I could put my elbow and shoot. I, I don't have to hold yeah. it no more. Yeah, if I get my elbow supported, dang sure get the front supported. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if I can get my elbow supported, no, nope. that was it, the number it, one reason yeah. I wanted that bar. Yeah, in the back. it's 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 always possible, but a miss is. Mm-hmm. Now nah, you might hit a tree limb or something <laughs> you didn't see, but it's it's pretty much dead. Yeah, I always tell them at night if I can see the eyes and I can get my elbow up, I'm going to take him down right there. Well, see, that's the thing about y'all's family too, is them I seeing your your eyesight. Yeah, we were we've been oh, trained man. since since yeah. We were, my we wife, could walk. we drive down the road. We just like driving down the road. Yeah, we deer. You, we've been doing it so long. I mean, I can see eyes down the highway to the side of the field. You know, they just get the little glare. I'm like, oh, there's deer over there. How did you see that? I mean, it's just. Nope. I remember we were out hunting one night with your dad and Jix, and like, Jix was running a light, and he goes, we we're hunting. It was rabbit. He goes, it's right there. Yeah. And I was looking through the scope <laughs> and never saw it. He goes, God damn it, it's yeah. right there. You dumb ass. I'm like. <laughs> Dude, I, what the hell are yeah. you talking about? It's right there in the middle of the light. And I'm like, and it's just like how we scan, you know, like me, when I'm scanning the light, you know, I'm, I'm moving quick. I'm, yeah. I'm, but then the people that ain't used to hunting with us, they're like, man, how do you even see it? I'll pick it up. Yeah, if we'll I see it, it if I get yeah. a glance, I'll see it, you know, but I'm constantly just moving the light trying to, cause I want to get that light to my, in my preference, my opinion, I think the sooner you get the light on them, the sooner they're not going to pick you up. Yeah. You know, that's why I try and to keep get the it on them. Yeah, and keep yep. it on Keep it on Yeah, them. And that's yeah. how we got that coyote in at 30 foot the other night. Mm-hmm. It just, as soon as. Yeah, as long as you don't burn just, it, keep it a little low, but keep the glare in their eye a little bit, they're not going to pick you up, you know. And that's the way I, 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 I try to find them quick. The sooner the better, you know. So. Yeah. But, I, you know, it's, it's white light versus red light. Mm-hmm. I like the red. I, I can I'm see starting the, to like white more. Yeah, I I'm mean, really starting to like white light more. So it like the other night I was using red to scan. Yeah. Because I can see that shine exactly. better. Yep. But when I see it, Once it's like coming, yeah. then yep. it's then it's turn on the white light mm-hmm. and then shoot with yep. a white light. Well, it's mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know if that I've bothers them or not going well, from a different color. Well, the way we've been doing the past what two years, mm-hmm. we just scan with the red, scan with the red. As soon as we pick up the eyes, let them come a little bit, then. Mm-hmm. Flip on that white. Yeah. As soon as we flip on the white, we know we're ready to shoot. The only animal I see that gets spooked with a white light is a coon. Yeah. That's about it. a coyote, bobcat, fox. That white light don't bother them at no. all. It, to me, I'm, I'm, to me, yeah. The pigs. Oh, pig too. Yeah, pig, pig will get spooked with a white light, but with white. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, I mean, I I prefer white. I'm starting to like white way more. Sometimes yeah. I'll, I'll do a whole hunt with white. Yeah. Well, a few times we went. We yeah. Did yeah. We hunted with white yeah. the whole time. <laughs> and they kept coming in. Nah, <laughs> come on in, man. <laughs> I mean, it worked good till yeah. I got sleepy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <And I was, laughs> Conked out. Then it was, you know, a, you know, snoring and calling in. Yeah. Whatever I'm calling in was mm-hmm. snoring, you know. Mm-hmm. Calling Bigfoot. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> and he's real. <laughs> and we take turns when we call. I mean, I'll, I'll run the call quite a bit, and then he'll take over sometimes. When we first started out, he was the one doing most of the time. And I ain't going to lie. He's a better shot than me. He, if it's something that we really need to knock, I'll let him take the shot. Nah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm getting better at calling coyotes in, though. I've gotten a yeah, lot better. Other than yeah. what, he is a coyote caller. Yeah. So. Well, I, I, I can't. I don't like running a call. I've no, I don't. Where, I don't. Yeah. I'll never argue with somebody. I've gotten to where I Let like, me run it. <laughs> I've gotten pretty confident with. It. I'm not gonna lie. I, and there's a lot of times over the past couple of years, people. You know, when we first started out, we went first couple of years, we could never get a coyote in. Yeah. We us. had hell getting coyotes. Yeah. In. No. 
we could call in a bobcat, fox, coon, anything, but we couldn't. We could just not call in a coyote. Yeah. And the more years went by, the more knowledge you get. And I ain't gonna lie, there's a lot of times I go hunting by myself. Over the yeah. past couple of years, I'd go on my own, but. I took that as a chance to practice on my own. Yeah. To see, I don't feel stupid running certain calls because they're going to look at me like, what the heck are yeah, you Yeah, I've, I've done the same thing. <laughs> so I'd rather I'll go try it on thing. my own if it works. And okay, I'm more confident in it, you know? So, you know, I'll, I'll tell Tina, hey, what do you got to think playing? No, I'm going to the farm. Yeah. Going <laughs> and going and I'll get out there and I'll run the battery dig. Yeah, just, you got to I'll be on the stand for an hour. Yeah. It, nope. Man, you know, maybe that's not what you need to do, but then it's. Then all of a sudden, you know, 35 minutes, all yeah. of a sudden, you'll yeah. see some eyes like, hey. And I've gotten yeah. to learn to be real patient. you got to be patient with them coyotes, yep. and I've learned well, that, that. The first Fox Pro we ever bought was that that little Spitfire, like yeah. you said. <laughs> and me and Eddie, the first time we ever took it out, we were over here on the other side of Novice, on the other side of that mountain. Yeah. Well, we were out there for an hour and a half. Just, just, just We were just playing with the sounds, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Every, we played every sound that we could possibly play on there just, just to hear the sounds. Yeah. And the last sound we played was Raccoon Fight. We're like, yeah, we're gonna try that. Yeah. Put on that raccoon fight. What, <laughs> Ten <laughs> seconds. Here comes that coyote. Coyote run right to it. We yeah. were like, uh, we've we were called there for an hour. We've called some in with coon fight. Some, sometimes it's, 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 you never know until you try it. What the know? hell? But you know, I've got that X twenty four, and I bought it through uh, oh MFK, mm-hmm. and it oh, came yeah. with two hundred of their sounds. Yeah, and I ain't real happy with it, but but there's some sounds on there like you hit play and you go, God. Dog, what in I the world is that? Delete. How do I delete that? <laughs> that is terrible. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah, that's my name. I'm going to give you an X24 for the next two weeks. I've got the X Wave right now. I, I'm pretty satisfied. And I got the Lucky Duck Revolt, the first one they came out with. Mm-hmm. I still run that on occasion. I've shot some big bobcats with that one too, but that X Wave, I've gotten really comfortable calling. Yeah things in with that one it's amazing how it'll have 300 sounds on it but you use six yeah you yeah. six seven tops i got yeah. a rotation i do especially with coyotes yeah. you know i've learned i try to Ooh. i got into where i try to tell a little story with it you know you try yeah. to throw a little mm-hmm. you know pup howl you know then have some bigger coyotes around then you try to put a little distress pup in there make it seem like they're picking yeah. on the pup you know i can't get a lot it's worked a lot yeah. you what, know three weeks ago you called yeah. Yeah. made three stands yeah. you called five coyotes, coyotes in yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Steven has got an X24, and he's mm-hmm. got a sound on there called Pound Town. Yep. See, I got that one on there. And, too. I mean, that has been the go-to they come. sound to that they Pound come. I remember the first, <laughs> that first, first night we, used, we it. Each used it. No, it was during the day, remember? Mm-hmm. We were at a house, some abandoned house on a dirt road. And it, we were leaving. We, we didn't even really try it. We were leaving. And all of a sudden... Coyotes came from everywhere, right? Yep. I mean, one or nope. two you we, dropped? We killed – three came from across the road, and <laughs> that one Town came from the coming, front. Yeah. We killed all three of them within 20 yards yeah. of each other. Yeah. And the other one, we hit him, and he ran off. Yeah. We made the circle. The next stand, and killed the bobcat right there. Mm-hmm. 20, what, not even yeah. two gates over. Yeah, so, and you know, that's another thing that I see, because I'm, I'm looking all over those forums and Facebook pages, and what's the best sound? Hmm. There's not one. There's really not one. You just There's not really, one. I mean, they're going to react to what they want to react. And I try to, I try to, there's so many hunters that hunt around here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I really try to think outside the box. Like, okay, well, maybe they're running a lot of this. I'm going to try some of this. Yeah. You know? And one well, thing telling I'm, a story, it makes a lot of and sense. And it does. I try to do yeah. that, you know? And I try to work, the, and I've learned a lot with the volumes, you know? You really don't got to play it that loud. You really don't. I mean, mm. it's amazing how far they'll come when you got yeah. it maybe on 10 yeah. or 11 before. We'd blast that thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. thinking, I got to get it out there. But, yeah. But know. it's louder than you think it is. It is. If you go around it's, and get in front of the car. It's loud, yeah. Because you're, 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 you're throwing it away from you. Yeah. If it, you go around and get in front of it, you're like, God damn. And that's how Fox mm. Pro's made. Crystal clear sound that's going to travel. I mean, you really, yeah. it's like I said. And I've, I've, I've read a lot of stuff, forums, and looked on YouTube and my own thing and a lot of them do say you know you don't got to blast it you really don't <laughs> yeah so i've had a lot come in that way so we've had luck it's starting to get better it's starting to get a little better yeah well uh-huh. it just this this being out there and doing it yeah. yep. now if we could just find more land it'd be all right <laughs> yeah no kidding yeah no kidding man i mean it's yeah, well now you know we're in deer season yeah well, let's wait till the deer hunters are gone yeah Okay. I, mean, I got yeah, a few. That's the thing. Like right now, pups, you know, you got those nine, ten-month-old pups out there. Right now yeah. is the time you go start calling. They'll come right to Yeah, you. them, them kind of circles yeah, will come in. we got a few to... places I can hit up their deer season that they don't care. But, you know, the big, the big spots we go to, it's, yeah, it's, you got to wait yeah. after deer season. But uh, It's okay, I guess. Yeah. You know, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, you got to wait. Have you ever found where if you hunt a place 
too much? That you know it just what? won't produce anymore. Yeah, honestly, I haven't run into that yeah, yet. We haven't. I haven't run into yeah. that. And it's and crazy. People say that all the time, but yeah, th- there's always animals you know, there. And I'm not. I, mean, I won't name names, but there's a lot of people around winters that you know they travel six hours, seven hours just to go hunt these big ass places. You know, here mm-hmm. and there, and all our lives we've hunted right within here. around here, Ronalds yeah. County, Ronalds County, and yep. <laughs> well, they come back. Maybe have a few animals and look at us, and we've got more animals, bigger animals. I go, yeah. we, we, every year we hunt around here. Yeah. We're local. We don't go for, I think the furthest we've ever gone, what, Throckmorton? Throckmorton, yeah. That's probably the furthest we've ever gone, yeah. Throckmorton. Have you been to, what's that guy's name? That junior's buddy up there, that old fella? Yeah. That's, Mr. Manuel? That's yeah. the one you're talking that's about? The, yeah. That's yeah. the furthest we've gone. Yeah. And other than that, it's been Novice, it's been Robert Lee, Bront, here around Winters, Ballinger, yeah. down the Paint Rock Highway. I mean, that's where we usually hunt. Well, what's that guy's time? name that's buddies with Wade Chandler? That old fella that hunts up there at Knox City, maybe? Mm, I don't think I know. He that. hunted every day for a year, mm-hmm. and he documented the sounds he used. Yeah. And he you know, he hunted 365 days in a row, mm-hmm. and he said he had some places where he, he went seven days in a row and killed something yeah. all seven straight days. Mm-hmm. There's a guy down that Paint Rock Highway, Will, yeah. uh, Mr. Hoffman, he lives out there. He's got a little house. Man, that's not even, what, 15, 20 acres? Yeah. Not even? Yeah. Most right of it's off, right off the highway. Right yeah. off the highway. I crap you not. Every time we go, we're either going to see a fox or a bobcat. On occasion, a coyote. But I guarantee you, it's mm. it's, ama- it's amazing to me. How mm. I've been hunting that place for years, and yeah. it's just a, you, a two-stand maybe spot. Yeah, two, one in the front, one in the three. back. It takes longer to get there yeah, than it yeah, does exactly. if you're there. And yeah. then it's, I've been hunting it for years, and it seems like every year I go there, I'm getting yeah. another animal. You know? never leave empty-handed at no, that place. No, almost yeah. never, man. <laughs> and it's other spots around town, on the edge of town. We get a lot of our animals. It's crazy to me, people. You think outside the box, but, yeah. you know. A fox is a fox. Fox is a fox. Yep. Bobcat is yep. a bobcat. They're going to yeah. come to it. They're going to come to it. You know, that's one thing I hadn't seen what I call this season starting September 1st. That's what I call this season Yeah, is a bobcat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've killed everything else. Pigs. I haven't been coons. out much. This is the, probably the first time in a while I haven't really. Yeah. But we went out that well, night. Just that night. That's the only time we've night, gone. And we called those coyotes up. We didn't we didn't see a fox or a, or a cat. It was us all coyotes that night. We, had a, we got a fox out at, out at my place. We called him in probably five times. Yeah. And he would not stop. Just kept moving. Would not stop. He'd just come in and he'd dart behind a tree. And he's like, I know this game. Yeah. Well, I'll, yeah. I'll and that sucker that. looked like he was as long as this table. I mean, he was. <laughs> I take that back by Uncle Jix. Remember I told you right there? On the oh, edge? yeah, yeah, yeah. The other night, he, he lives, you know, Jix, right? Right across. Mm-hmm. Okay, my Uncle Jix. Well, he has a little spot right there on the edge of town where he's got all his dogs and that big trailer house he's got out. Well, he has goats out there. And he said he seen two foxes attack. He killed his goats. Like he's seen them kill them. They yeah. took off. One night we went out there and go, what? If you want to go get, we'll get them. I'll take my twenty two. We'll drop them right there. It's right because it's right in town, almost on the edge of town. Yeah. But we facing the outside, so we're good. And I put the call out. You know, get there. Five minutes in, dude. We we got fascinated with a coon on a tree over there. I'm looking at the coon, and I already knew in my mind I should have been paying attention to the call because if it's an in town fox, he's probably going to come quick mm-hmm. shit you not he came right quick i look at we're looking at the coon looking at the coon and i finally get my red light down and he's just standing on top of my call looking at it like this <laughs> before i could get that little 22 up and i got shot by the time i shot i seen him he bolted to the right i'm like i was so sick to my stomach but i saw that fox there got away from me yeah and i didn't get to go back and get him nope I wonder pretty, if it educated him. I think I, but he got him with a snare. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. With a snare two days later. Yeah, he got him with a snare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, it's crazy. That uh, was the first one I seen for the year out there. I like calling foxes. I like oh, calling yeah. foxes. My, mine, mine's raccoons. Oh, yeah. I, like, I love raccoons. I like taking newbies out to get a fox. Yeah, they they just can't follow them through the light. They they're like they don't stop, bro. Yeah, so you they're gotta gonna be keep ready. You yeah. better be <laughs> give you. They're gonna give you that one chance. You better. And I take laugh because they're trying to see it. There's a fox. Okay, they look at it and then they're trying to. I go, bro, you gotta follow him through yeah. the scope because if you don't. If you don't have it on him, as soon as he drops, he's yeah. you're, he's same, gone by the time. Yeah, you same thing like he said. Oh, I'm looking right, <laughs> at, right in the scope. Like, yeah, right in the middle of the light. He's right there. He's right, he's right there. there. Yeah. Yep. 
Well, they, you know, they, they just, they're different than a coyote. They, oh, they're yeah. jumping around, they're moving in, they're yeah. moving out, you know, and, and raccoons. And you can tell an educated one pretty quick. Yeah. And raccoons, man, you just don't know. <laughs> don't put the call. Don't stand by the call. Because no. that damn coon no. will run up your pants well, leg. I learned, I don't want to be giving my tricks away, but, you know, I, 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 you know, I've learned, you know, I don't mind helping other hunters out, but. They probably do it too, but I've learned when they're charging that hard, I've learned to cut it off. Cut it off. They'll stop. They'll, 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 they'll stop. They'll stand stop. straight up, so, and I hit them right yep, yep. center so punch. I, yeah. A lot of people don't realize that just when they're about 10, 15 yards away, cut that thing off, and they'll stop on a dart right there and say, mm-hmm. like, where'd it go, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess it was Friday night, me and Dad stayed out at the farm, and I was like, man, I want to go do some calling, yeah. you know? And So I went over to where my deer blind is, and, and, uh, and I know we've hunted down there. Mm-hmm. We, and, and that one area back in that corner – Three years, yep. for and have never not one time. You closest we came was that night you missed that fox. Well, me and I you missed and Junior. It. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, like three years ago. Oh okay. It, it, if you just keep going on around that field, back in that corner that looks like, like looks like just the most yeah, amazing yeah, yeah, place. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. What you're it's about. like for three years I've called that down there. Yeah. And not called in nothing. Well, uh-huh. finally the other night, I'm down there calling. Twenty minutes in, I'm like, God dang, man. <laughs> I mean, we're 300 yards or 400 yards from where that fox was, and the coyotes are thick. You hear them all the time mm-hmm. down there, and it's like, where are these bastards at? Mm-hmm. So anyway, it's always you finish up with a raccoon, turn the raccoon on, and sit there. And I mean, and, and I'm looking at my deer feeder; it's 180 yards away, and it's just like every night I get pictures of <laughs> damn raccoons, like six of them. Yeah. Where are these some bitches at? And I finally just like, you know what, I'm. I'm going to go back. Well, I'm time to go to bed, you know. Yeah. So I started walking out to the call, and I turned, and I looked up the hill, and here comes these two raccoons. I'm like, well, yeah. by God. <laughs> so I walked back to the gun. Well, I couldn't see them because of the tree line, yeah. so I picked up the gun the tripod, walked on out to where I had to clear and set it down, got up there, and I have a, I have a lanyard for my, my yeah, call, for, right? And mm-hmm. so I just hit mute, you know, and yeah. that somebody stopped, yeah. stood up. Boy, I mean, I hammered it <laughs> right there. I mean, and uh, well, that's like you said, it's usually at the end. I don't know how many times, and I've gotten to where I won't get off the rack. If we're hunting at night and we're on the rack, I don't know how many times we've had foxes come and we're done 30 minute calls, maybe sets. And we're sitting, I go, and I've gotten to where, Ronald, you go get the call and I'll sit up here in case something. And I, I tell you what, about 60% of the time, yeah, halfway to the car, and Eddie's lights <laughs> flashing. And I'm light. down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, and no matter what, I don't give up until the very end because it, it, they pop up on you almost every time. That is what your parents did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is you'd be driving along and you'd see the light go. Yep. Yeah. Just like, just like you, that. Oh, there's something there. <laughs> yeah. As soon as that light starts you know, to flicker. <laughs> and uh, I mean, sometimes it was uh, on yep. the roof of the pickup, yep. you know, or. Damn, we just talked about road hunting, didn't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, we were on somebody's yeah, land. That's what it was. Somebody. Yeah, and so they <laughs> just tap on the pickup. Yeah. Me, I've got a habit. I've hunted with both of y'all. Yeah. And i got a habit of going, pst, yep. yeah. pst, 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 like that or something, you know, and, you know, to let everybody know that, yeah. hey, that I got something in my in my light, you know, it's time to, some people don't. I mean, they just, yeah. guys I've hunted with. Like Tyler, he won't he won't let you know. You just really? shoot, just shoot, what <laughs> just shoot. <laughs> no, I hate that. I hate that more. Oh, give me a warning. Give me a warning. Yeah, I mean, you know, because Ronald's Ronald and his brothers they shoot them big old guns with them freaking what are they called on the Tell end? Those, of them? Uh, muzzle brakes. Oh, yeah, I I've been. Oh yeah, man, that's your worst you. enemy without it without air air protection. Yeah, yeah. shoots that six five Grindle with that muzzle brake off that AR. Oh yes. man, that is a freaking loud gun. I don't know how many times I'm sitting in my chair and I see Eloy with a shotgun. All I see is all I see is oh, that yeah. barrel <laughs> coming across my eye and I already yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, I've learned to be able to you yeah. know because Tyler's and Steven are both suppressed and so yeah. I got to where I've learned to go, <laughs> yeah. and I'm trying to keep my light where it needs to be. I'm going, yeah. You're trying to close that one ear on ears. that side at least. Ear closed, but keep my light where it needs to be. You know, and mm-hmm. but I, you know, I can't say enough about 22 Creedmoor mm-hmm. and a suppressor. Yeah, nope. I mean and that's my, my next thing. I yeah. really want a suppressor on my suppressor's got to be the next thing. That's the next goal. Yeah, I mean it's. Well, I've hunted with you with it, and it's yeah. amazing. I was like, I was amazed on how really quiet that yeah. thing is. You don't, it doesn't hurt your ears at all. No, at all. My my dad has got the S. Mine is the Sandman L, mm-hmm. and and it's like nine and a quarter inches long. Dad's is the S, and it's like six inches long, mm-hmm. and there is a noticeable difference in the really? sound. Mine is his. It I shot I built uh built a six Creedmoor, and we put that on there and. 
and it's boy i mean you shoot it it's like ah what's well, loud you know yeah. i mean it's still pretty loud but mine with that longer suppressor it's just like a just a little bit more than a 22 yeah not like a 22 magna but this boy i mean it is quiet yeah mm-hmm. like it a is. loud pellet gun yeah just pow well that night pow. we went and we shot that i was amazed on how quiet that thing was yeah i was all right well i think that's the one i want tommy i'm gonna have to make sure <laughs> <laughs> and if you would have bought it you'd yeah. have it by yeah, now i know i mean that's the part that sucks yeah. anybody anybody that's listening to this that works for the government man fix that yeah i know that's I right the, fix that they're going back to supreme court about it yeah i heard a deal they're trying to make it to where it's guaranteed within 90 days yeah yep. i mean mine was seven months dad was seven months yeah. tyler's was 10 months wow i mean but I, I don't care if it's a year and a half it's worth it i yeah. mean it's worth, it's worth my competition guns won't get a suppressor but anything else yeah it's gonna have a suppressor on it. Yeah. If I'm fixing to pull the trigger on it, <laughs> it's gonna have a suppressor. You know, yeah. I've been buying gun suppressor ready now for like four years, yeah, five both years. Yeah, yeah. Ready. yeah. yeah. and, and that's the thing is, you know, buy you a thirty cal can, mm-hmm. and it'll go on anything yeah. that you want. And that's what mine is, thirty caliber. Mm-hmm. It'll it'll work with anything. Yeah. Well, that's and, the next thing I want. And that, and it doesn't spook you know the yeah, other exactly. animals. I mean, it's as much, but. I'm not going to say they don't move, but they're more apt to, to kind of stop. and yeah. mm-hmm. They may they run off a little ways, oh, yeah, but they're going to turn gonna, around and go, yeah. hey, what, what the hell? You <laughs> yeah, know? what was that? Why is get... my buddy over there <laughs> flopping around doing the curly <laughs> shuffle? Yeah, especially pigs, man. Them some bitches are so stupid. If you get oh, their yeah. stomach turned on, you can oh, damn near yeah. drop the whole herd of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. If yeah, you're far enough away. We've done a lot of stupid stuff with the pigs. Yeah. Walk. Yeah, like chase them and stab them with a knife. Yeah. I'm up well, on the top of the list. I walked up to him, walked up to him right behind the air, point blanked him with my 22 pistol more than once, just creeping up on him. Yeah, nah. Mm. I'm fat. I ain't quiet. <laughs> man, I, I, you know, Tina, Tina will be in there asleep, man. I, and I'll get up, go to work, and I'm, boy, I mean, I'm trying to be as quiet and I'm noisier. Knocking everything down. Knocking That's things I, over. My wife can't stand me getting up early. <laughs> I mean, a fly could fart at the neighbor's house, and it'll literally wake her up. That's that's. I don't know how she gets any sleep, poor thing. One one night, me and Eddie were over here on the other side of novice our lawn over here, and we see this pig running across the field. We're in the field. We were driving this way, and the pig's coming across this mm-hmm. way. So we stop. This is the first night I ever got my AR. The first AR I ever bought. Shoot this pig, and he starts spinning in that field. Shoot him again, and I shoot him again, and he finally he, he's right there in the field. So me and Eddie drive up to him, get off. I was like, I'm not gonna waste another bullet. I'm just gonna stab him. Stuck him. As soon as I stuck him, he stood up and chased me all the way back to the truck. <laughs> I jumped in the back seat because the door was still open, and he died right there in the back seat of the truck. Uh, that, yeah. yeah, no, man, they they that's, can like rip you wide open. Mm, huh? That's just I, I love it. I love that sensation. I haven't been. Oh, no, I, no. I haven't been hit by one hard, but I'm I'm pretty cautious when it comes to those things. I guess I lack the testicular fortitude. Yeah. <laughs> if I can shoot them from 200 yards away, that's perfectly fine with me. And I'm gonna let them lay there. Yeah. A while, yeah. You know? <laughs> I uh, shot one Friday night. I mean, you know, when you shoot them, how they, they throw their head back and their ass hits the ground. Yeah. I saw that in the scope, man. It was 200 and about 200 yards, and it was at a light at my feeder. Mm-hmm. And I thought, all right, cool. You know, I walked back up to the cabin, and me and Dad got on a four-wheeler and went down, and he gone. No, he, didn't, he got up and ran, though. He got up and ran, that happens. you know. That happens. But Put he's dead three. somewhere because yeah. I was seeing those two pigs on camera. Now I'm just seeing one. Nope. He's yeah. dead somewhere. Yeah, he got him. You know, getting I'm getting fat. a bunch out. Oh. I'm getting a bunch out there at my feeder in Norton, and man, it, I got them every night coming in. Then I got, I just haven't had a chance to go get them. Yeah. Hopefully, we didn't have that. any up until about three weeks ago. Really? I mean, nothing. And I feed her all year round though, over there. Even yep. I don't throw a lot during the summer and off season, but I keep throwing it. Yeah. And so they stay out there quite a bit. Well, there's too many helicopter hunters around us. Yeah. Yep. That's aggravating because I mean that's and about I the most fun you can have when you close on yeah. it. It's about that, the only free hunting you can get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> then what aggravates me is when you know the big bobcat competition, the fox competitions. You know they're all the same day. Then we're out there hunting, and the helicopter hunters are flying oh, around. That happened once or twice. Oh, that drives me crazy. We're yeah. out there. Then they're getting... waving at you. They're flying over. Dude, you know what we're yeah, doing over I'm here? Uh, Go. Yeah. Over I there. flipped the other one off that one time. <laughs> yeah. Like he went right over us. I go, fool, you know we're out He's here. He's uh-huh. taking his time, waving at us. Dude, come on. So per the rules of the contest, can you hunt from a helicopter no, legally? I don't think no. you can. No. I, I, I never thought about that. Yeah. 
Now, I mean, I know it was, what, two years now that they just now allowed the thermals. Thermal and night vision, yeah. And I thought I was cool. Remember I hunted mm, with y'all? I yep. showed up with that thermal. I thought, shit, man, I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> for pigs that's yeah. it yeah. that's for pigs thermals are for pigs yeah no man i you know that very first time i hunted with y'all i showed up with a 17 and a green light yeah nope. uh, no, that's <laughs> didn't kill nothing but time yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean yeah it, it's it's learning from you know i learned a lot from y'all oh yeah still still keep on learning you know and we didn't have nobody to really show we just kind of went by yeah, trial and error yeah, we we're just going yeah. like i said we started that little spitfire and then ronald would talk fire. about them shows he'd watch every weekend man we fred eichler yeah. You know, yeah all those guys yeah he learned we learned a lot just kind of doing it so yeah if i want to get fired up about hunting i'll i'll turn on the night crew <laughs> oh yeah something about chris robinson's yeah, chris voice robinson. man it's just like man you know I'm, I'm all right let's go <laughs> it ain't dark yet i don't give a damn let's go yeah <laughs> and i see chris robinson doing some of that stuff you know when he first started calling pigs with the night side yeah. man we do that all the time yeah and then yeah. there's one episode where he walks all the way up to the pig and points blanks it i was like dude we do that all the time <laughs> yeah <laughs> i've only seen the call work on pig once and it's, it was oh, pretty exciting i'm not saying i intentionally called him in but there's been times we've done like rabbit distresses and they just seem like they're coming yeah. to the call, you know. Well, I'll take that back. I forgot about another time. Me and Mark called in a boar one night with a rabbit distress. Uh -huh. now, we, the first one we ever did, me and my son Nick, Nick was probably five years old. He was just with me, came to the rabbit call. The second time we did it was me and Eddie and Norton. Mm -hmm. That was when I downloaded those pig sounds. Yeah. Remember, we started, I was just playing them. We, we just downloaded them. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, we had a boar come up. Then at my place over here, I've called them multiple times. I think you just got to have them in the right attitude. And, yep. Yeah. Sometimes, because, yeah, I've, I've played them before when I could see a pig three or 400 yards out into a field and just try to mess with them. And sometimes they don't even look yeah. your way when you play a call. Mm -hmm. So. And I've never called a bunch. I've always called single boars. Yeah. Single boars. Yeah. That's what we called in that night with me and Mark was a single boar. And then with Tyler that day and Steven down there west of Baird, no, south of Baird, it was a, it was a sow. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was on a full run and. <laughs> I'm not kidding, man. It was feet. Finally, Steven shot her with a shotgun, got her turned around. Yeah. She was fixed to try to get somebody. It was broad daylight, man. I mean, shoot her. Somebody shoot her. Yeah. It was 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, Jesus Christ. He yeah. was pissed off. Mm -hmm. But it was on that uh, X24. It was pig slop. Oh, okay. And mine has that, but I ain't got nothing to show up to it yet. So that's a... Fox Pro sound? It's a, it's MFK. Yeah, MFK I sound. I need to download on that on my X-Wave. I have yeah, pig it's slop. Pig slop. I need yeah. to look that one up. Yeah. I haven't checked to see what other new ones they got out this year. Mm, I don't know. Like I said, I just ordered that that uh, X24. I think it was back in September. I know. I downloaded a bunch of that X-Way when I got it. Yeah, I got it from straight from MFK, so they had put those sounds on there. They were already downloaded. Too. Yeah. Well, that one you painted for, I had to put a reflector. Right? I put that little, that mm. little <laughs> best thing I ever did. Because I tell you what, we can actually see where the call's at, though. I mean, every yeah. time, it's a little red dot like that. Yeah. Big, well, there's a the call right there. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie asked me every night, hey, where'd you put that call? I know, it's every right night. I can't, I can't see it. It doesn't have a light on the back of it? Uh-uh. See, like the X24's got a big old green light. Oh, yeah? I mean, uh, it's it's bright. Really? It's, yeah, you a, ain't missing it. Get some black electrical tape, put it over well, that light. I, put a, I just got a little reflector piece a little circle and that sucker you can just hit it with the light and you see it right there so i was like all right now i know it's there have there been plenty of times we were like i know we're, hopefully we'll shoot that thing <laughs> don't yeah. these days thinking it's an eye yeah i mean i'll tell you what pisses me off so farmer will have up a damn reflector somewhere <laughs> yeah and i'll be scanning i go and you know it's a damn reflector and it still gets you and i go time. over this way <laughs> and i'll come back and i'll be like yeah <laughs> It's like, it moved. I know it moved. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sitting there looking at it. Makes sense. Is somebody's going to blink? <laughs> you know? I think I saw it blink. Yeah. And the guy you're was like, shut up. It's a damn reflector. It ain't moved in 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm just trying to have hope, man. I'm just trying to have hope. <laughs> you know? Keeping, staying positive. Yep. Yep. But are y'all going to do all the comps this year? I think so. We're going to try to. We try to do as many as we can. You know, we only get you till only April. get three months, yeah. you yeah. know? So... Yeah, the April one is always tough for me because I'm starting not to like that one. It's, yeah, it, it gets, gets hot, gets hot, and, and kind of get burned out. Maybe a if little you bit. Only, I, I've got to where I try to convince him. Maybe do it, but just do it at night. Not even yeah. worry about the day because yeah. it gets miserable. Well, this last year I was sick off my ass. Well, yeah, yeah. Is that when I saw y'all in Robert yeah, Lee? Yeah, I, was, I, would, I didn't. We make it, that's when we were coming back from Wade's podcast. Yeah, yeah. I got a bug or something, man. I I was puking the whole day out there. Yep. I made it to about nine, and then y'all had to take me home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. was done. <laughs> I kept telling him, "Let me take you home." No, I'm I was okay. trying to tough it out, man. 
<laughs> well, then when you got that the bug to hunt, the yeah, bug in your I'll, gut is, I, I is second second yep. place. You know, especially yep. after you don't spent that entry. You don't spent the entry. Yeah, <laughs> you spent all week yep. planning hyped out up. your strategy. You're hyped up, ready yeah. to go, and then I'm buying sick. snacks, buying drinks. Yeah. And I always tell myself, like, if I'm going to go hunt with you or whatever, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a nap, and I'm gonna, that way I can stay up till yeah. past midnight. <laughs> and and I'll be sitting there in my recliner and be like, I'm amped. I'm yeah. ready. To, I, no, no, never do get So it. how do your crew work together? Do y'all all like to just make do the call, or y'all got some that just like to shoot? Or how does it? Steven usually runs the call. Uh huh. He he and he don't mind it. Wow, well, you know, <laughs> I, you know, I mean, you know, Steven's a good dude, and we always give him shit, you know, uh-huh. but. You know he 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 he's very good. He does yeah. he gets them in, uh-huh. you know, and 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 me and Tyler usually do the shooting. Yeah. But he every now and then he'll say, "Well, no, I like to shoot every now and then." <laughs> you know, you I know? like about our partner JP. He's from Robert Lee, and during the day we're doing our thing. Everybody gets set up, you know. But when night comes, he loves to shine the light. He, every yep. time, every time, yeah. Yeah. I'll shine the light. Y'all shoot. And boy, when we talk about seeing lies. And I, we try yeah, to make him shoot. Those and we're eyes. like, well, JP, come on, get up. But he's like, honestly, I can't see nothing at night. Y'all can just keep shooting. Yeah. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah, I, I, I would never be a remote whore, but I'd be a trigger whore. <laughs> yeah. I love shooting. I love shooting. Well, I mean, I, I can do that, and I'll run the call if I need to. But it, I, I mean, there's times that, like the other night with Mark and them, I didn't. I said, y'all, I shot, I shot the last coyote. Y'all just go ahead. Yeah. And there's times I'll get a dry spell. Like I'm, I feel like I can't. I'm, no matter what I'm doing, I can't get nothing. Yeah. And I'll, and, I'll tell wrong. Here, you do it for a while. And See then, and, and I'll, and I'll be like, that was a stupid decision. When we're getting in the pickup, leaving because we just shot three coons, <laughs> had a coyote, and had four coyotes coming in behind it. And my gun was in the back seat. Yep. Oh, you know, yep. I'm like, damn it. I mean, you know, we could have <laughs> yeah. could have shared that. Had yeah, a little more trigger exactly. time, you know. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, hey, man, it's all good. Uh-huh. It's all good. But, yeah, I, I, it, I'm not the call guy. I don't. I'm not going to argue with anybody. He likes to the put call. pressure on me, man. Every time we're oh, up yeah. there, he'll put pressure on me quick. And he'll <laughs> be like, okay, man, I was out here the other day and I saw four coyotes. And like, they came from over there. Like, we heard them over there. Yeah, yeah. Over he'll there. tell me, yeah. we need to see something right here, Eddie. I need you to do your magic right here. <laughs> <laughs> need that Eddie magic, baby. <laughs> yeah. So that place y'all have at Winters now, it's a big one that Junior was telling uh-huh. me about? Uh-huh. That's, a not, that's where we went the other day. Like I said, we made three sets called oh, five coyotes. Oh, that's where So... How many um, of them did you get shot? One. 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 Yeah. The other, we couldn't shoot at the other the other four. They were nah, they two were, of them were with the cows. You know, they were back and forth with those cows. Yeah, they were like the cows are here and them, there's a fence line in the back and a tree and a tree line and they were just sitting back there on yeah. tree. You could see them, but just, they were in that tree line and we weren't gonna shoot over them cows. Yeah. So. There was a couple times we thought they were coming because they stood up and here they come and then the cows would shift over and then they would go right back around yeah. the cows mm-hmm. and they wouldn't. And then the other ones were just right there's a high fence going around the other side and they were staying on the other side of that high fence, so yeah, they, they didn't want to come across. Them. Is that Thorpe's high fence? I believe so. Yeah. I believe so. But yeah, they they got what twenty yards. Yeah, I they, mean they, they were, were they were right next well, to I us. Well, I had to kind of get up high on the rack, and I could see them. They couldn't really get a guy, but I seen two of them. They were right there, and then they finally caught a glimpse of them. But the trees were so well, you need thick. Need that shotgun? Yeah. Well, <laughs> some of that horned ammo up there, right? <laughs> <laughs> that Magnum Coyote. You know, that Magnum Coyote. Yeah. But they would not cross that fence. They just wouldn't cross. Yeah, they just so. they just walked straight like that, and then they just disappeared back in those mesquites. That area, you know, we hunted Thorpe's place last February. Me and Brandon and another fella. Mm-hmm. I mean, thick fox. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, we killed. I think we left out of there with five. Oh, yeah. Five of them. Yeah. See, we didn't like call that. a single fox out there the other day. No. Do y'all worry about the wind too much? It, it depends. If it's a light breeze, you know, get it out there, we'll get a crosswind. But if it's, yeah. a, if it's a heavy, heavy wind, then we'll kind of north face it or put the wind in your face. Yeah. But a light breeze, just kind of crosswind it and we don't. The foxes. We've got to where we can pretty much tell where they're coming. If it's a coyote, they're going to come right up wind on you every freaking time. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what, you know, so. so we, I, I try to plan as much as I can, but. I mean, I try to set up the best I can, but sometimes you're just going to. Yeah. So at night, you're going to have to hit a coyote at least. Most of the times, you're going to have to shoot that 200 yard shot because they're not going to get any. Especially yeah. if it's windy, they're not going to get. Yeah. yeah. So. We were hunting over there at Wingate, and a guy, we were just getting set up, and I was looking around. I was going, no, wind is wrong, man. The wind was blowing about 12 miles an hour. I mean, yeah. it's pretty windy. And I said, no, the wind is wrong, man. I don't yeah. think this is going to work. Oh, yeah. That, 
It, it don't matter. I said, okay. <laughs> and sure as shit, man, here come this fox, man. He was coming through the trees. And, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, he hit, he come out into the field, mm-hmm. and he come a little farther, and he hit that scent cone. Boy, yeah. I mean, that sucker stopped. Boy, and he was like, <laughs> and he was gone, and yeah. you couldn't stop him. Yeah. He was like, okay, I busted y'all that, ass. Yeah, and yeah. that's the thing. You got to it, like, know when to stop him. You got to know how close to let him. Yeah, yeah, of course, everybody wanted to keep coming, but in windy days, you got to just take them further shots. You yeah. Know? Oh. That's yeah, they don't, they don't bother me too much. Yeah. I can deal with a farther shot. That's why I like the 22 Creedmoor. <laughs> yeah. 3,800 feet per second at 200 yards, yeah. you just aim at it. Yeah. 250 yards, you give it hair, and it's dead. Are you still shooting that 53 green? No, I went to the 55 green. Did you? Blitz King. Try not to tear up so much shit. You know, I, you know they're – Damn, we're shooting a contest, and you blow that thing in half. <laughs> I'm like, but yeah, man, it's cool. I mean, it's yeah, freaking. That's, that's money dripping. That's on money the floor. dripping Have on you the ground. Figured out where they're bringing these big old 11, 12 pound foxes from? Because I know they ain't around here. Dude. No, man, I don't know, man. <laughs> We've been killing foxes like crazy. What, ten and a half pounds? Maybe the biggest one yeah. we've ever killed. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just like sheep country. No, because yeah, y'all hunt sheep country yeah, already. Sheep country, yeah. You know, I just chicken don't see country. Where they keep Chick- I bet these big foxes from man. I bet it's around the town. That's what it's got to be around somebody getting in cat food. And, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know. I just still, I don't know. I know there's a lot of access to a lot of these ranches out there that shoot a lot of deer and they skin a lot of deer. I know technically you're not supposed to bait, but man, all year round, I'm pretty sure they got a pile somewhere. Oh, that's oh not, yeah. It's not baiting if that's what That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure they throw all them carcasses out there. And, well, that's why like, we have a boneyard we call a boneyard <laughs> out at the farm. We shoot pigs, they'll. You know, then you pile them up. That's hold. Let me back up when I said the thermal wasn't good <laughs> for coyotes. You know, and 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 when I'm I'm out at the farm and I can't sleep, you know, because mm-hmm. I'm just I know there's something out there. Yeah. And then I'll get I'll have the thermal because it has to acclimate. Yeah. If you have it inside the warm cabin and you turn it on, you go outside. You're not gonna you're not gonna see very good. So I leave it sitting outside. And uh and I'll be laying there and I'm like I wake up and I'll. I got to pee. So I stand up and I walk out and you know, go there and on the porch, take a leak, you know, on the porch. Mm-hmm. It's 38 degrees out. So I'm standing there in my underwear <laughs> and I grab that thermal and I'll kind of start scanning. Yeah. And I've killed a lot of stuff off yeah. that front porch. Well, just, that's the blessing of a cellular camera of mine out there at that feeder. I, we'll be hunting. <laughs> and he already knows the sound of that day camera going. Hey guys, I was just going to let y'all know that the battery had gone dead on the camera. And we lost about the last, really about three minutes of that conversation with Eddie and Ronald. Uh, sorry. Uh, but yeah, what? Bro. Damn, dog. Why are you mad, bro? I'm crazy, dog. But anyway, so uh, basically, really, the only thing that happened after that was we just talked about the T-shirts. I'm going to do a giveaway. Uh probably dude why are you mad so yeah i'm gonna do a giveaway on a t-shirt you just comment on the on this video here and i'm gonna do a random drawing on the video and i'll try to figure out how to way to reach out to you damn crackhead but uh so yeah like and subscribe man we're doing the best we can we're having we're really having a good time with these podcasts and and uh, uh the next podcast that we're going to be doing there i got a little cranky in the background over there uh we're gonna we're gonna get some more content we're gonna we're gonna try to get some video put up you know i bought a deal to put on the scope so we can we can video some stuff and put that on up there as well so hey man we're we're trying we're having a good time and uh just need a little help do some do some sharing do some commenting do some subscribing that's all we need that's all we need and if it goes somewhere cool if it don't hey man we're having fun so uh anyhow for the t-shirts gonna be a giveaway the day before thanksgiving just like and subscribe the video that's all you got to do could be free won't even have to pay the shipping and handling what a look at this fool all right Hey guys, thanks for watching.